Hello everyone, Bill Bacardi here. Hopefully everybody's well. <clears throat> uh, I want to start this video, we're going to pick a lock tonight, but I want to start this video by saying I really, 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 truly appreciate every one of you guys that went over and checked out Jason's channel and signed up, guys. That was very awesome of you. I really, really, really thank you. Um, I know it's lock I want to pick here. So... I forgot all about this when Rookie Lock sent me the package the other day. I had made him, it says on the side here, I don't know if you can read it or not, it says, made for Rookie Lock. And I did that because he had told me, you know, I'm not that great at picking challenge locks, but I do pick them. So I said, okay, I'll make you something that's not that hard. So I think I only did the top pins, if I can remember right, in this lock. I did nothing to this to the to the core itself i only did the bible um and then he had got a hold of me after he picked it and he said you know let's make this into a collaboration i thought that was a great idea so he did all of the pins in the bible i'm pretty sure I, i'll know once i take it apart after we get it picked um but what i did i put my name was obviously on this side already bacardi and then i put his name on there i engraved it and then my bill bacardi's here Rookie Lock's on that side. And then I put another tag on it, collaboration, Bill Bacardi and Rookie Lock. Uh, obviously, it's got a Bill Bacardi bidding, guys. <laughs> I mean, it came out of my shop. Uh, yeah, let's try and get into this. Because, I mean, that should be, I'll pick it and then I'll send it on. And uh, I'm really looking to get, like I said the other day, I'm really, really looking to get a bunch of challenge locks picked. So I can get them sent out to one of the guys who are waiting for a package right now from me. And buddy, I'll have it out very soon. I'm sorry. I just, uh, like I said, I don't have enough challenge locks picked for you right now. And I also, if we can get this done fast enough, I have an update on how we're going to send out the uh, Key Masters to Jack. Nothing on one, two, three gives me a little... Yeah, looks like give me. Oh, that was weird. Okay, oh, I just lost my tension wrench, which is okay. Okay. And then one, and then two. Three. Oh, three gave me a little bit of counter there, a little turn on that plug. I'm picking this clockwise, guys. Okay, that was pin five, I believe, and it went real deep there now, guys. One, okay, one's giving me a little, I think that's two. Yeah, but I can't set it. I'm gonna have to uh, kind of rotate this plug a little bit, I think. Oh, there was a big click there from it. I know my hands are in the way again, guys, I'm sorry. See, I'm in a deep fall set here almost. Yeah, and I got nothing. Nothing from nobody here. One, two, three. Oh, four gave me a little click and a little bit more turn on that plug. Five, nothing. Six, nothing. Let's come back. Five, five's really hard to get under. Five must be, yeah, five's a real deep pin. Then there's a low, real short pin behind it and six. Okay, three is giving me a little bit of counter there. I really feel like I need something deeper to get up in the back of this lock, guys. Yeah, let me see what I got deeper here. Uh, let's try this out. I feel like it's six holding me, guys, for sure. Let's go back this way. Wow, look how deep that just went. Because I just let everything off. Holy cow, look at that. Okay, that was one. Oh, that's a tough lock here, guys. Holy shit. But I still feel like it's six holding me up there. Let me a little bit off of that. Well, 
Okay, I lost a lot of that setting out of the head. Hmm. Something real weird going on in six. I, it, it's definitely six holding me, but I, it's something real weird going on in there. I don't know. I can't figure out what it is right now, guys. Just lost my tension wrench. I don't know if I lost the counter. No, I still got it there. Okay. There, we're open. Jesus Christ. I don't know what it is in six. It's like a T-pin or something. So I really don't remember what I put in this, guys. You know, I got so many locks out. I can't remember what's in them, guys, anymore. It's just nuts for me to try and remember. Look at my poor Jim. Jesus Christ. She's sorry looking. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get the pinning board out here. Oh, and Ben Picking. I uh, got that core out of another lock for you. I couldn't bypass it. But uh, I just put a new core in this one for you. I had to drill it. There was no choice in the matter. The, uh, but you never told me that that was a challenge lock that was in there. I picked it twice. I was like, man, this is a really weird lock. It's, uh, false sets like crazy. I was like, what the hell's going on here? It would have been nice to know that it was a challenge lock core. <laughs> but anyway, we got it out. So I just put a new core in there. I'll be sending that back to you, my friend. Uh, let's get this shim in here. Is there definitely some kind of T-pin in six? There has to be. Okay. That's as far in as she wants to go. Okay. Okay, my shim's coming through with it. Beautiful. Very nice. Put that down there. Okay. Oh, boy. If I didn't do nothing to the bottom of this, he sure did. I see threading. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very nice. All the key pins are in the working, guys. Good, I can get this sent out, too. Wow, nice bomb spool. Serrated in two. Another nice bomb spool in three. Still can't have another serrated in four. Bomb spool in five. Very nicely done, rookie lock. And another serrated in... Uh, Six. Uh, we have threading in six, four, and two. Very nicely done, my friend. Uh, okay, let's get some tweezers and get up here on this top. Because this, I know I did the top. I'm just about positive. I'll know as soon as I look at these pins. Yeah, that's one of mine, I think. Yeah. Copper spring. I believe all the springs are the same. No, they're not because I can still steal it. See a steel one and two. Okay, copper and one. Steel and two. But this is awesome. I'll be able to get this straight back out, guys. Very nice. That was a tough damn pick, though, guys. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on in there. Had me searching for a minute there, guys. Okay, this it goes this way. Okay, we'll take the rest out the back of this. Very nice. Rookie lock, I really think you did a nice job on this, buddy. I'm very happy with this lock. Happy to have my name on it with you. There's a really sharp spool in six, guys. And a little, like a ass of barrel, like a ass of serrated and as a barrel in uh, five. I wonder if that, you know what? That was in there this way. And that son of a gun was holding on to that. I know it was. Yep. It was in like that. Yep. And I am positive I didn't do anything to the Bible of this, guys. All right, let me bring this down to the pinning board, guys, and we'll show you what's in this lock. Oh, wow. Nine minutes. Wow, that was a long pick then, huh, guys? I didn't think it was that long. Okay, number one, this really nice bomb spool. That rookie lock did. I did all the uppers. He did all the lowers. Uh, very nice spool on top. Number one. This really nice serrated here. With another serrated underneath it. And it's a threaded chamber. So all of this is going to get caught in that chamber. Really bad, guys. Uh, another bomb spool here. With this ASA style. 
uh, spool up above it, serrated, I guess, real white serrations. And then this awesome uh, spool here and four with the serrated underneath it. And that would absolutely get caught in that threading too. And I believe four was threaded, right? Yeah, four was threaded. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. My thing's way out of whack here. Um, we had this bomb spool and five. With this, it's like a T-pin on the bottom here. That's what was holding me up. I thought it was six. It was five, though, here. That kept giving me a real deep false set and holding me up. Then we had, don't look at these over. That's not for us. <laughs> Sorry. The serrated key pin with this really long spool up above him. Very, very nice. Okay, I'll give you one more once over here, guys. We have, this is what was in number one here, guys. Bomb spool with a spool up above it. Number two, this awesome serrated. Another spool here, a bomb spool with a kind of an assa spool up above it, assa serrated up above it, I'm sorry, with this really long spool here with this, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even in there, long spool here with this serrated underneath it. Then we had this bomb spool, this serrated with like a T-pin on the bottom of it, and then this serrated key pin with this really long spool up above it. Okay, everyone, thank you. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I really, really appreciate everyone that went over and checked out Jason over at SC Lock and Keys channel, guys. He uh, He's getting up there. He's got 715 subscribers now, I think, from 650 yesterday. So that's helped him a whole lot. we got to try and get him to 1,000. I'm working on some other stuff for him, uh, trying to get some more people over there for him. But everybody have a great evening. Thanks for watching, and good night.